just ask you what I, just ask AJ. Did you guys look at this game like you had to win this game? Uh, definitely. Every game here on now is important. We want to uh, stay in second and stay in second by ourselves. So uh, we just take care of our business so we don't have to worry about everybody else in the league. So we take care of our business. We win on the road because on the road is where it's done at. I mean, of course, you're going at home, but those who can go out and win on the road will be successful. There aren't a lot of road games, though, where you, you, you legitimately you know, expect to win, but kind of uh, obviously Rutgers has struggled a little bit this year. I mean, mm -hmm. When you kind of look at that, I mean, does that make it a little bit more of a must-have kind of thing? I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, every game from here on out is a must-have. But especially tonight, um, a team like Rutgers would have, like, nothing to lose. So they're just going to come out and fight and be competitive and be on the edge. So we just have to come out and be ready. I mean, every every game we have to be ready. There's other times this season where if you guys have played poorly offensively, it might have turned around and also affected the way you're playing defensively. It seemed like tonight that wasn't the case. How did you guys sort of keep that focus? Um, we just uh, just keyed in. Uh, we actually uh, we locked in pretty good. I thought tonight uh, guys paid attention to assignments, paid attention to the plays. Uh, did a good job of holding a couple of the good players uh, to some to some bad shots, and uh, we just did a good job as a team overall, just moving the ball, finding each other, and just executing. It was a pretty big basket you had there. They had made a little run there at the end. I think you were the one who kind of snapped your thirteen to one yeah. run. I think you. You got to drive, if I remember correctly. You're pretty aggressive up the dribble. Yeah. I mean, was um, there a matchup there for you or, or something? Uh, I just remember just catching it. Yeah, that's fine. I just remember catching in the corner, and I just heard Coach Payne by, behind me just say, you, you just got to go make a play, go get us a bucket. And I just uh, fake left, went right, drove hard, and just tried to get up. And I noticed that I have a smaller defender on me, so I knew I can get the shot over him as long as I can get inside the paint. Did you guys sweat there at the end, or did you figure you had it? Uh, we knew we had it. We just had to keep it. We just had to keep our composure, you know, because, uh, like, we, we learned our lesson from Minnesota, you know. Like, if you don't keep your composure, then it's going to get worse and get worse. So um, we put each other together, you know, we huddle up and just say, hey, we're not going to let this happen again. And I think we really, we're really really mature tonight in doing that and, and uh, pulling it back together, pulling out this one. It seemed like that was kind of a matter of them just making shots they weren't making, you know. The whole night was that just them getting caught at the right time. I mean, yeah. I mean, eventually you knew some of those shots were going to fall, and uh, especially uh, coming at the end of the game. So we just got to do a better job of just staying with it and playing it out. I think uh, in a little bit we got a little sense we got lazy at the end on switches and anything like that. And a, a couple of them were tough shots. I mean, guys who were shooting those shots that were tough hands in their face. So I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it. It was contested.